So I can't even begin to explain how uh, bummed out I am this morning. It's, uh, ah, crap, I have to move under a little bit. Uh, I've been laying in the bed for the better part of an hour, hoping that the weather would uh, improve. And uh, it's not going to. It's uh, raining. And uh, like I said yesterday with the routine thing, you've got to keep your routine up. So we have a backup plan. We're going to end up going to the gym. But uh, I hate running on four or five miles on a treadmill. It's just so um, depressing, and I'm, I'm just not really looking forward to it. But we've got to get the day started. It's so I, uh, period or hold on. I, uh, I asked Grant if he wanted to uh, skip today. He said that he had uh, been up most of the night off and on. And, um, you know, he'd be miserable all day thinking about whether or not we were going to go over the club later and run. And I agree. I mean, it's, you know, that's, like I said, I've been laying in bed for about an hour trying to, hoping it would quit raining because we really don't like to run the treadmill. but. I think it's even worse to sit there and dread doing it all day and then go do it, so off we go. Yep, and it is really raining outside. I shut my whining little crybaby up and got over here to the club and got my run in on the treadmill. I hate running the treadmill. And then I got my, the good news is, is that when you come to the club and have to run the treadmill, you go ahead and get your other workout done as well. So we don't have to split that up. We have a full day ahead of us. Um, somebody asked me the other day why I wanted to run 20 miles and I said well that's because I want to run 26.2 on February 28th and then somebody else uh, asked me just the other day what why I'm doing this vlog and and really it's because um, well two things it's kind of a win uh, win win I guess what, what it is um, I I have plenty of accountability partners but now I don't know how many I have watching this vlog I, every day they expect me to post something about how I'm progressing for my my marathon goal and I just want to live more I mean I, everything I do I want to do more of it and um, and I want to eliminate the things that I shouldn't be doing so I don't do more of that but uh, just live more is really what what this year is all about for for me and for our family and uh, hopefully for our customers we help them live more and, and we spread the word the other reason I'm doing this is because um, you know I, I watch a lot of folks and learn a lot of folks learn from a lot of folks but it's almost always after they've done it and Hopefully uh, the next 28 days you can kind of see where uh, where you can do this too and, and enjoy yourself. It's called. Yeah. We uh, didn't get to go on our walk tonight. Uh, tonight's our walk off or our walk off. That doesn't sound right, does it? We didn't hit a home run. <laughs> but we could at the we end could, of the game. We could start a whole new trend though. Yeah. Walk offs. There you go. Well, okay. we didn't we didn't do a walk tonight. Tonight's our night off for walking. And um, but I was thinking about my walk last night, and I was thinking about I never really got to the point when I went on that rambling right. thing about the uh, woman who was uh, disciplining her child. What I was trying to get to was is that a lot of times we look at things like uh, dieting and um, and uh, exercise and things like that. Wow as a punishment for uh, things that we've done in the past and um, I just you know it really didn't want it to to sound like that it's pretty funny isn't it it's ruined my video <laughs> just go ahead and laugh just go ahead and laugh just go ahead and laugh <laughs> so anyway punishment this is just not the right environment anyway the, the idea was is that you shouldn't look at exercise or a, as dieting as punishment you should look at it as an opportunity for for growth and for things that uh, that uh, are make you feel better and and uh, inspire you and and move you forward in your life so uh, just like the woman who was uh, scolding her child and um, making him read when that really shouldn't have been a punishment uh, your exercise routine your diet my diet my exercise routine are not punishment for things I've done in the past they're actually an opportunity to live more in the future the uh, day has gotten away from me I'm really surprised I wasn't able to squeeze in at least one more vlog somewhere along the line or, or video piece but uh, it's been a very busy day we had a, a good week this week in our business and on Wednesday we've been uh, working on moving our customers that we deliver on Thursday to Wednesday so that they can get their clothes a little faster and they have them uh, in later in the afternoon uh, instead of uh, during the middle of the day. Um, it, it just, it, it's a better fit and so we're kind of uh, looking forward to doing that. So I've got to put together a quick dinner and Tammy and I, uh, actually the kids, everybody likes this quiche that I'm gonna to do tonight. So I'll show you all the recipe here in just a second. 
it's pretty simple. I, I start out with some uh, baby spinach and uh, I buy the big thing because we use a lot of it. And um, five eggs, the recipe calls for six, but I found that if I use the whole six eggs and a cup and a half of heavy cream that I'm supposed to use, that uh, I can't fit it all in the pie crust that I have, even though I have the deep dish pie crust. So I don't know if I'm using too much of what, but like I say, I tend to um, let things uh, work themselves out. So I use five eggs. I use about a cup of cream instead of a half, a uh, cup and a half. And I'll blend that in the blender or in the Vitamix here. Uh, I'm going to have to shred my own Swiss cheese today. It's supposed to be a cup and a half Swiss cheese. Um, but um, they didn't have any shredded at the store, so I'm going to have to do that. And I cooked up a pound of bacon. I won't use all of it for this recipe. I'll save some of it for salads and stuff like that. And maybe for a sandwich uh, for one of the kids. If you've been watching anything of what I've been doing, you uh, know that I have a son who's a vegetarian. And so what we do for him on this meal is... You can see that I've put some bacon in here in a line on a quarter because there's four of us, so we're going to quarter this. And then I've marked the aluminum foil by ripping it so I know where to look for it when it comes out of the oven because when this thing does come out of the oven, it's all piled high. But now mix the rest of it together and we'll put it in the oven. We cook it at 375 for about 35 minutes. It just depends on how the oven's feeling each day. Sometimes it takes a little longer to get it to that nice firm uh, texture and that golden brown top. But we'll show you when it comes out. And I have failed to mention that I, I use artificial bacon for him, so he has the same flavors that we do. This is the trickiest part of all, making sure that you pour the uh, egg mixture in slowly enough to where it sinks to the bottom and uh, doesn't overflow on the edges. So it takes, this is probably, this probably takes longer than chopping up the, the um, spinach and shredding the cheese and doing the egg mixture, everything. This is the longest part. So I'd love to say this is ready to go in the oven, but I've made a huge mistake. I forgot to put my bacon in. So instead of crumbled bacon tonight, we're probably going to have bacon slices. I'll break them up into small pieces and tuck them in there, pop it in the oven, and we'll go from there. I am uh, making a super simple and fun dessert that we love to have around. Uh, it's made with uh, just a couple of ingredients. Unsweetened coconut. you got to have unsweetened. And um, the... Uh, Giardelli chocolate, the uh, bittersweet chocolate. Um, this tastes really good when it's mixed all together. We add a couple of drops of stevia to the unsweetened uh, coconut to make it taste good. And Grant's melting some chocolate over here on the stove. About a teaspoon of coconut oil. Uh, melt it first and then you um, melt the chocolate in it. And um, we just don't have enough light over there to get to a good shot of it. But he's just about got it ready so we'll stop and put this stuff together. So I've added my stevia, and I'll tell the truth, we were a little short on the unsweetened coconut tonight, so I added a little bit of sweetened coconut, because that's all I had around to extend it. And now Grant's got the chocolate melted, and we're going to pour it on there. Ding, 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 ding. Got melted chocolate. Just pour it straight on. doesn't matter where you pour it, because we're going to mix it all together. We. I like melted chocolate. Yeah. Who doesn't? Can I, can I just have this for dinner? I mean, really? Yeah, please. So we're going to get out of his way and let him finish that up. So we have it all mixed together now, and it kind of looks like just a big, giant... Um, my mother used to make these non-baked cookies. Kind of reminds me of that. But you um, mix it all together. I've got parchment paper, so it'll pop right out of the pan. And we'll cut it up, and it'll break up into pieces. But uh, put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, and it hardens right up, and it'll be ready after, after dinner. So here's our finished product. It's the... Um, quiche along with some strawberries that's uh, actually two relatively large strawberries sliced up which is about three carbs and um, there's probably another um, five or six maybe even eight in the crust and um, a couple here and there in the in the rest of it it's eggs and some spinach probably the whole thing's probably about 20 carbs on the on the plate which isn't too bad uh, we're not going for no carb, we're just going for low carb eating. Maybe even 25 carbs, but not too bad for an evening. And as promised, here is the chocolate coconut dessert. And um, we'll cut this thing up and have a little bit of it for the next couple of nights, and that'll be our dessert. And that ought to wrap up day two.